Ladies and gentlemen, we move swiftly forward into our next match of the evening. It is in the men's middleweight division on the right arm and is for the East versus West. Championship of the world, Georgia versus Georgia. The first of our athletes making his debut here in East versus West nine hails from and is representing Georgia and is a multiple national champion of his nation. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome Vala Ikiti. Georgia versus Georgia. Wow. Do these guys know each other? I, I really know nothing about this man. He's, uh, from what I understand, he is the real deal. He's an uh, extremely strong competitor. Uh, David uh, is, is definitely worried about him, from what I understand. Um, wow, here we go. And his opponent needs no introduction here in Turkey. This man represents and he's hailing from Georgia and he is a multiple Georgia national champion, multiple EAF European champion and multiple WAF world champion. He is also the reigning and defending East versus West middleweight champion of the world, Davin Samusha! Abad Samusha, also from Georgia, defending his title today, wow. And like I said before, this, this is, a, this is gonna be a tough match for him. He's, uh, he, he definitely expressed some concern earlier that um, this would be his toughest test, so. Yeah, help me out here, Neil. I, I know nothing about uh, this Vala. Vala Kiti comes with huge rep, mate. This guy is so highly touted by the Georgians. They believe that he could be a surprise winner in his debut here. Wow, 25 years old, so he doesn't have much experience with uh, uh, professional arm wrestling. I mean, he's just been hi hiding in the, in the, uh, the Georgian network of uh, monsters. When you look on the map of Georgia, it says beasties be here. You may not know them. This is one of them. Okay. So he's, he's in the same league as Basho. He's another one of those guys. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> David Samosia really appreciates the threat, the risk. Got this. <coughs> Vala, you can see the confidence of him. He's informing. Obviously, Samosia, we know. Shoulder, shoulder. Loves that deep hook. Would love to get the brakes on, turn this into a gutter war. Don't move. Go! On the way we go. And Ooh, Vala. top roll. Yeah, and Expert, a wow. One. Yes, can opener. Kitty has some threat now. The strap should favor so much, you would think. Should a little bit. It's going to stabilize his wrist a little bit. But that, boy, that was so impressive, though. I don't know. I think uh, Mr. Vala is, uh, is going to have the uh, leverage advantage, even in the strap. Might not be quite as easy to bust that wrist back, but. David's going to be at a little disadvantage. I think he's going to be a little stretched, stretched out. You can almost see there's a little bit of nerves around David Samosia. And it's a highly, highly pressurized situation. You're the champion of the middleweight division. You're arm wrestling against a countryman who you know represents a massive threat. Strap being applied. Remember when the arms slip apart, that one inch nylon strap around the wrists, around the hands. We'll buckle tight. We stood Della Jack off our head referee. Here we go, John Brzezink. Who you got? Ah, uh, after seeing that first match, that first round without the straps, even though he's on the bad side of the strap, I, I suspect we're going to see the same thing, the same thumb pronation into the palm of, of David. If he gets him stretched out. Oh, hands. Here we go, watch for that start. So much will try. Whoa, no, whoa, whoa. he's not going to get the wrist. You can see it. David's, I think he's not going to be able to secure that hook. 
Rotate. Pretty good with his wrist flat, I'm David Samosha, but and he, one, one thing he does have is great endurance, but Valor seems to have that power advantage and... Don't move. And he make it stick. And away we go, and we hit. Oh, wow. A solid stick in position, but that's like a pin. That was a pin. Wow. Valor, wow. Yeah. Got him stretched out and applied the side pressure. It's, and the most enough. ominous thing there, John, that looked like he had another gear. Yeah. There was no redlining, no shaking, no stress point. He looked like he had more there, and... As he goes over to get his arm rubbed down by Livaz Tidze, who we'll see later on this evening. It's a concerned look on the face of the reigning champion. Here we go again on the replay. Little drive there. Yeah. Touch of shake at the bottom, but looked like he had a lot left, John. Yeah, David uh, obviously got a lot of pressure on his hand and wrist. Got his hand flattened out. He needs to have a little bit better cup to, to make that, that uh, hook work. Uh, if he can't get that cup a little bit better secured, um, uh, that's, a, that's, a, that's a big thing to overcome, that leverage disadvantage like that, being stretched out that far. We could see a changing of the guard here tonight at East versus West. David Samosia pacing, trying to get his head into the right place. It's so difficult to get yourself mentally prepared. The champion taking an early bullet hole there. At the hands of Vala Ikiti, newcomer, debutant here at East versus West, but he came in with a huge reputation. And a nice haircut, oh, John, i got to say. Know, a little bit of the dad's move. He's going a little lower on the wrist, which is uh, definitely a, a viable option. Maybe try to negate that uh, that top roll a little bit by, by making it a, an arm game by just getting that pinky finger along that wrist line. Is some, is sometimes is all the difference in... in uh, to, to secure that hook a little bit better. I feel like he's got to force the situation a little bit at this mm. stage. Yeah, Got to risk a little bit, I think, to, to maybe secure it. You think David would, would, would like the strap, or do you think he'll be very concerned about the strap at this stage, should it go there again? Don't move your shoulder. Don't move your shoulder. Rotate. Definitely think he wants to explore the option. I believe he's going to lose his wrist Don't here again. Oh, look at oh, his no. wrist oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Pronation is so solid, and he, uh. he pulls back so well there. Really pulls and creates that rise. Looks to be in control. Driver's seat. Yeah. Well, like it, at this stage. So difficult to bounce back after you've gotten your wrist broke back like that. And the worrying thing for the reigning champion, for David Samusha, is that he doesn't have a B option, really. Doesn't have a, a, he can't really match Valor up top. Doesn't have that in his arsenal. He's the guy that wants to put it deep into the hook and, right. and, and, and outlast you. Valor Akiti, will, more of a drag car. Will we see uh, a possible flop wrist press, a Jerry Cataret move? I mean, if you're going to do that against a top roller of this caliber... You've got to be really brave you because to, you, you take that route. You have to get route, it at an angle, yeah. You are committed for the evening. And you feel like it would be a very hard <laughs> That way. puts a lot of stress on the joints, right? Oh, my word. Comes down. Look at the determination on the face of Valerie Keatsy. You can see David very calm by comparison. Don't move. There's the wrist come down. Little jump there from Vala. <coughs> Only a warning. But Vala looking to secure that position early. Shoulder. There's shoulder. a more immediate response when the strap Wait. is applied, and down come the hands again. Go! Oh. That looked uh, like a jump again. Like a false start, yeah, for yeah, sure. Yeah. Uh, David thought it was a false start, mm -hmm. so he didn't, he didn't even pull. I actually thought that was on David. Yeah. I thought David was the first. Uh, right. Don't move. Well, sometimes that shoulder. happens. You, you fall start, and then you relax, and then oh. they really say go, and then you're caught off guard. Down come the hands. Better position on the hand there from David Samosia. Don't move. Go! Digs in. A little better now. Better from purge. Samosia. Yeah, no, he's got it. That's he's got it secured. Better. The cup is better. Trying to just bleed his opponent. And this can be game changing. We know that David Samosia has got great endurance. And Malakiti looks very uncomfortable there. He's still got a great position, but he's being sucked deeper into that hook. And Samosia's game that is, is this. trouble. Little drive from David. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Tables have turned. One, one. That's all it takes. Better news for David Samusha. To be honest, I think David would have liked that to go longer, John. I think he would have liked that to be more drawn out. But 
Wasn't able to, to uh, extend it any further. I do believe that Valor kept the integrity of his arm position, just let his arm be pulled into the pad. We will probably see it here on the... Yeah, there we go. Just dragged him off to the side. But Samuccio would have liked that to go longer, I think. Yeah. I think that there was a degree of getting that bleed into the arm. God damn, there's some giant midges up here. Jumping. Did you know? <laughs> I, admit, more yeah. than I just got nailed on the neck myself. Like, what the hell? Blood suckers yeah. in, in the booth here. Myself and the goat are under attack yeah. in the booth. Yeah. Well, Mr. Valad needs to definitely uh, focus a little bit more on that top roll off the start. Obviously, uh, can't allow himself to get put in that position again because, uh, yeah, David looks like he's uh, David looks like he has the uh, better endurance. Damit Samosia, one pin, levels the score. Valakiti, one pin, got off to a great start. This young man from Georgia coming immediate challenge for the world title here in the middleweight division. Man he's facing, also from Georgia, his name, David Samusha, that is the man in the red top. 1-1 one, one the score. Neil pick up here with John Brzezink. East versus West 8. We're about halfway through tonight's card and it's, uh, there's been some battles. knuckle down, knuckle, knuckle. Rafid Samusia, the reigning okay. world champion. We go to the ref's grip. Stodela Jakov, Luke Pulcher. Ah! The referees, the men in the stripes. Had a relatively easy ride so far, John. You yeah. feel like that may yeah. change? No, yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> they're halfway through. They're, they're doing the marathon today. They're the only referees, so. Here we go. Don't move your shoulder. Referee's grip. It's okay now. Let's Don't listen in to Stodela Jakov. Thumbs down. Knuckles, knuckles. David definitely has the high ground and the okay. setup. Mala with Don't the pistol move. grip. Look at uh, low. Relying on that cup. Yeah. That Cobra style top roll. Okay. Looking for the low hand there, but he was a little twitchy. Yeah. That was on Vala. Center, center. Now if I'm Vala and I know Samusha is coming in with that hook. Create a little gap with the thumb, a little bit with Don't the palm. Go! Really? That was, yeah, that's yeah, exactly the again. move. That's exactly the move. Yeah, you need, I'll tell you what it is. With You do get the feeling that on that side of the table, Vala's got it all day. It, yeah. it, I think this is going to swing. A little more danger when it's putting the straps, right? Mm. You need, Daff, it definitely needs that security of the yeah. strap. He needs that to just yeah. firm his wrist, sure his wrist up a little bit. and it's Pretty shallow. Yeah. The, Heel of the palm there. Boy, I hate to say it, but it looks like Mr. Todd Hutchins might be right. I mean, Vala seems to be doing better with the uh, buckle on his side. Yes. Yeah, he really does. Don't forget his keys choice. But he's in that last round with low hand, pistol grip. Center. Shoulder. This could be better Don't now because Don't move your shoulder. Vala is a little twitchy. Comes down. Close you first. Jakov, he will wrap. On fingers. Samusha first. That's the reigning champion here at East oh, versus West. Oh, next up, better from Samusha again. A little yeah. deeper. Yeah, he has it secured. This is better. And he will wait out there as long as he can and try to get that bleeding. And you've got to say at this point, John, if he can keep that position and just keep his just focus, hold it. right. it's looking good for him here. Right. Oh. Kiti forced to change position now and engage a little more. And he did so successfully there, John. That was a lot better. But Samusha in control. We are deep in the hook. Big drive. Yeah. That's the pin. And it's Samusha. The natural Ooh. order of things may be restored a little there, maybe. Because, well, you got to feel well, like... Well, you expected that from the world champion, right? I mean... You do. <laughs> but, but I think there was a, a hell of a lot of risk represented by Vala. And... I, and as we see on the replay there, you can see who's working the hardest and the level of comfort in that position. Yeah. Uh, Samusha, look at the dejected yeah. face there. Of yeah, Bala. yeah, yeah. Well, Bala just never, never commits his frame. Never goes really sideways. Never doesn't seem to have a drag in his arsenal. Um, is all about the pronation, and uh, you know that can only last so long. It failed mm -hmm. him, and then, uh, and uh, he had no. He couldn't switch gears into uh, a side drag. It looked like he was uh, committed just completely from the beginning to the end to that uh, that pronation. Supremely calm, David Samusha, the winning champion of the world in the red shirt. He's had a bully. Yeah, the cold spray. In a bit of cold spray out, but I think he's going to need more than that. Maybe yeah. some rosary beads. <laughs> because 
That brack is blown up. There's yeah. a lot of bleed gone in there. Yeah, that's the problem with uh, the big muscular guys spending too much time building those muscles up. And when they get some blood flow in them, blood in them, they uh, they can okay. they can make you numb for arm wrestling. Talking of blood flow, mate, I can see you checking your arms for those mozzies <laughs> there. Oh yeah, <laughs> I'm on high, I'm on high alert right now for yeah. mosquitoes. There's a few of them up here, ladies and gents. Let me tell you, danger money required in the commentary booth for John Brzezinka and myself being eaten alive. Eaten alive. They like the taste of goat, the <laughs> Turkish mosquito. It's a rare breed. It's already had three or four bites of uh, John Brzezinka. Right. That's going to be one strong mosquito. He's got infected with goat blood. Yakitsi. Tattooed arm of the Georgian pretender came to take the title right now. He's coming up a little short, John. Can can he turn this around? You feel? Oh, I don't think so, Neil. I mean, it looks like he's uh, he's the the fast twitch of the bunch, the more explosive guy and more muscular guy. I, I, I just I, I feel like Davis got this. Um, he's calm. He's breath No no heavy breathing. Center is good. Um, it's in the middle. Smooth as can be. No veins popping, no blow up. Um, Center is okay. Looks like he's going to have the endurance to Take pull this thing it. through. We know that he's got an endurance for days. Wrist. David Samosha. He's been here before. Wrist. Straight. Wrist. 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 I feel like uh, More. Vala may get the no wrist move. out no. of the strap. <laughs> oh, changed entirely. He looked for the hook. We are deep inside, ladies and gentlemen. And Vala, Ikiti starts to sell it in now and drives into the center of the team. Aggressive attack from the young man from Georgia and some musha equal to it. We are alive, alive on now. And this thing is lighting up Vala Ikiti. Drives to the front of the pad. Some musha with the counter. Titans and goals again and there's the pin. Impressive, impressive. <laughs> Waited him out, Neil. David Samusha. Very calm, composed. I love that Vala went to change it up yeah, in the no, final. No, there was danger there, but David Samusha definitely uh, composed, relaxed, just waited him out. Knew he had the endurance factor. Got that on the replay. We're seeing the earlier uh, rounds. Earlier rounds, yes. Yeah, and. Yep. Vulnerable in the top roll, definitely. Um, couldn't capitalize it, though. Uh, you know, I think if he was able to replay it back, he would have maybe uh, kept that top roll without the straps for a little while to try to bleed the forearm of uh, David. But um, in the in the heat of the excitement, you want to you want to go for that pin, right? He, he, <laughs> it's he hard to be. To, yeah, he wanted to get on the board. Yeah. Uh, I agree with you, mate. He, if he could have got some bleed into the hand right. and wrist, and so he could access right. it more easily. But the the sort of pattern of the match seemed to be referee's grip, strap, and then David could get a better position, better bite, much further forward, heel of the palm, got that lower palm forward, and from there he really put a lot of bleed in. But but brave attempt from Ikiti mm. in that last round particularly. When we saw him look for the hook, same theme there we can see in those earlier rounds. And once Samushia got into there, as you know, it's so much harder to, to hook when you've set for the top roll. If you mm -hmm. look for the top roll and then try to find the hook against a guy who's got his body shaped for the hook, much better position. Yeah. And Samushia's so comfortable there. Yeah, he's, he's definitely uh, more of a frame puller than uh, Valo is, um, and the muscles got the best of him. Well, guys, uh, spoke a little too soon on the victory of this particular match because it's a world championship match that decided to pull a fifth round. Um, doesn't look like, uh, I think this is for, uh, this isn't a replay. This is the fifth round, right? Oh, wow. It doesn't look like a lot of efforts in this, so I think uh, Vala's conceded that he's, uh, that he's been beat. But
wow, but it looks to me like David is 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 failing, is wearing out a little bit. We we might still have a match here, guys. Uh, Mr. Neil Pickup has left the booth to do uh, to to interview uh, seemingly the winner of David Samusha, but um, this thing is not over. Oh, gotcha. All right. Well, that makes more sense, guys. Um, David Samusha is is your winner. Yeah, he is he has won the best of five, but um, they're doing this just for uh, entertainment's sake. Both very relaxed, very comfortable. Uh, yeah, it seems strange to me that they were really weren't putting the, the kind of effort you expected in a world world match. So, <laughs> makes much more sense to me. Yeah, a formality match. <laughs> Obviously, this match is over with, guys. Um, uh, maybe a little a little training session going on here. Um, both these guys are, are actually very close. I mean, would be great training partners. I mean, um, if, they, if, they, <laughs> if David's hands failing, boy, this thing is going to get dry. Oh, Valas, <laughs> David conceded and, and, and gives. He's rightly so, possibly uh, the the match to Vala at three two. David Samusha is your champion. Um, great job. Uh, clo close, close competitors. Oh, it's already live. We are live already. Perfect. David Samushi, the longest running East West West champion, fourth title defense, fifth title fight. Going to be presented his world championship belt for East vs. West from Arif Ertem. Eighty-five kilos, right arm, probably the best on the planet. Congratulations. Roman, get here. So you have this pattern where you start by maybe testing out your opponent, and then you come back by absolutely dominating the match. It wasn't easy, but was that the plan? Figure out where Vala is strong, and then try to beat him from there? I <laughs> Well, Ari, Zalian, Zlieri sportsman, you know, it's Vitsodiro, Zlieri sportsman, yeah, Vitsodiro, Tinabdubis Gatsua, it's Lirit, Tinabdubis Gatsua, Shes, Lumara, Nandula, Harulodi, Setinabu de Gobas. Rogit Hat, Kegma, Jimmy, Setiari, Omara, Sets Animat, Gider, Madluba, Olas, Walla, Shen, Champion, Hats, Mochim, Tola, Shida, Rawi, Ida, and Hakola. So uh, he said that, uh, first of all, thank you guys for cheering him and congratulation, uh, congratulating him for his victory. He said that he knew how strong Vala was and is. He knew how tough the match could go, but uh, it did not went as he planned. It was tougher than uh, he anticipated and Vala was stronger than uh, he thought he would. So uh, he said at the end, he said that Vala, you are champion in my eyes and everybody has seen what you are capable of. Absolutely great. They pulled all five rounds. Yes, of course. Uh, I'm the champion of the MC Championship. I'm 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 the IMC Championati, Upro Concurrent Ulia, Upro Tulimo Sagabeda, as a shame degda, Sotarigos, Sheudas, Saubas, Aru with Kabalot, Sota Damam Srebeli, Saubari, Oro, Samusha, Hotel Shivershevida, 
ցունի շեդեք իանախա, ոնդա մինդա մի մարդուկ ոլ ասրո, էս նամբուլատ էս սիարարիս, սպորտի է ոպելոտ խտեպա դա, ռավուսի մետից էլի սպորսուներ բիվար դա, ունդա շեղույդյությությությությությությությությու Uh, AMC tournament that David pulled last time and did not perform well. Uh, the reason for it was specifics and he did not went into the details. He said that we are arm wrestlers, sometimes we have uh, uh, better shape than the other times and it happens. Uh, that his tournament, here is super match, he tried his best and uh, he said that uh, once they are focused and uh, well prepared, they can prove uh, otherwise, those fans or disappointing uh, chats that uh, some people may, uh, put, may have put there for David. Obviously, it was not good for him to read, and now he's happy that he proved those people wrong, and uh, he is still champion of 85 kg category. Absolute unit. David Samushi, one more time. <laughs>